In our fall sale of prints and multiples, we will be offering this wonderful Edvard Munch print called Consolation from 1894. The condition is very good. By and large, we have yet to find coming to auction an impression that is as good as this with margins this large. The print is signed in pencil by Munch and it is also signed by the printmaker Otto Felsing who was a very prominent printmaker in Europe and was very much desired by most of the artists in terms of doing prints for them. In the lower left-hand corner is an inscription and it is by Gustav Schiefler. Gustav Schiefler was a scholar, historian, and cataloged all of Munch's prints. The interesting uh, information or history about this print is on the back, and that's often the case with prints. It is signed, and it's signed Trost, T-R-O-S-T, which in Norwegian means consolation, and it is dated 1894. In the right-hand side of the print, in red ink are the initials CS with a circle around it. And that collector's stamp was the stamp of Carl Sachs, who was a very successful Jewish businessman living in Germany in the early part of the 20th century. He went on to form a, an important and large collection of paintings, drawings, and prints. He also was a very good friend of Schieffler, so we might assume that this print may have come from Munch to Schieffler and then to Mr. Sachs. In the early 1930s, Sachs realized that the political environment in Germany may not be favorable for him to live there much longer, um, and he decided to leave and move to Switzerland. But in 19 31, there was an exhibition of his collection that was organized by the dealer C.G. Boiner in Leipzig. And we have been able to find um, a copy of that exhibition sale catalog, and in fact, this print was in that sale. In the exhibition and sale of Sachs works in 1931, there were Many, many artists, including Francois Millet, Henri Matisse, Eugène Delacroix. And when we look through the catalog, there's many works by Edvard Munch. And we find with catalog number 228, the title Trust, which is this particular print that was in the catalog. In the 1950s, an American living and working in Germany purchased the print for his collection. He he loved Munch, so he was very excited to have this in his collection. It stayed in the family's collection until today. It came down through the descendants. So the combination of the, the image, the impression, it's a beautiful impression, the history from the artist to Gustav Schieffler to the collector and to the, the present owners um, have all the elements that any collector of a Munch print would want to have in their collection.